Hello, kids. It's time for a scary story. Based off the car episode Party of One, which Pinkie Pie goes insanely insane. I think I just pissed my pants. Shut up. Anyways, this is called Party of None. <clears throat> Read along if you want. The link is in the description. <clears throat> The other ponies have finally had Pinkie Pie's surprise birthday party all set up in Abdul Jack's barn. After they got rid of Pinkie so they could finish setting up the decorations, they hadn't seen her for the rest of the day. This was odd, considering how desperately Pinkie wanted to know what was going around Ponyville. Normally she didn't give up quite that easy. easily. Rainbow Dash got picked to go find Pinkie since she was far, by far the fastest of the ponies. Rainbow Dash decided to start at the most likely place to find Pinky, uh, her room. She knocked on the door and swung it open, revealing a disturbing sight. She had a small party set up on the table, and seated at the table were a guest of honor, a pile of rocks, a bag of flour, a ball of lint, and a bucket of turnips. Normally, anywhere you find Pinkie Pie was always bright, energetic, cheery, and instead. Rainbow Dash couldn't help but pick up a thoroughly creepy vibe from the scene. Even Pinky herself looked very much out of sorts. Her usually perky curly mane and tail hung flat, drooping down li li listlessly. Rainbow Dash cautiously walked inside. Hey there, Pinky. Sorry about earlier. I just had some place to be. You know how it goes, right? Rainbow Dash asked with a nervous chuckle. Pinky Bite glared at her. Oh, I know it. I know how it goes, all right. She muttered angrily through her clenched teeth. All uh, right. Say, you want my? You should come down to Sweet Apple Acres with me. Rainbow Dash said, abruptly changing the subject. No thanks. I'm having a party here with my real friends. She added bitterly. Isn't that right, Madame? Madame Le Flower? She asked, turning to face a bag of flour. We, oui, Madame, it is that is correct. Pinkie Pie said in the awful impression of Fluttershy's voice, not even trying to hide the in fact that she was pretending to make an inanimate object speak. Rainbow Dash stared incredulously. Uh, Pinkie Pie, she started, but was interrupted as, as Gummy bounced on top of a balloon, startling her. Listen, Rainbow Dash said as she walked towards Pinkie Pie, what do you say we get out of creepy town here and head on over to Applejack's. Rainbow Dash was cut off by a stool holding Mr. Turnip, a bucket of turnips, being slid over to block her path. She's not going anywhere, Pinkie Pie said in a different voice, this one of in a forced southern accent, accent to imitate Applejack. She ran back to the other side of the table, what, where she was standing before. That's right, she said in a normal voice. I most certainly am not. I'm having a wonder time, wonderful time right here. I really think you should come with me, Rainbow Dash said ins insistently, walking forward once again. This time, the stool holding Rocky, a pile of rocks, slid into Rainbow Dash's way. You heard the lady, she ain't going nowhere, chump, said Pinky, mimicking Rainbow Dash's own voice. Who are you calling a chump, chump? Rainbow Dash retorted angrily. She forcefully shoved Rocky back, causing it to break apart and tumble to the floor. Pinky looked shocked at first, but then gave Rainbow Dash an angry leer. She ran over to the dust clump she had named Sir Lancelot and shook its stool. <gasps> Gasp! Why, darling, that pony ruffian knocked Rocky over, she said, said Pinky, mimicking Rar Rarity's voice. She quickly switched over to Mr. Trump, turn up, across the table. Golly, she's so ungrateful. She didn't even try the cake. Pinky finally popped up behind the table across from Rainbow Dash. Yeah, Dash, you didn't even try the cake, yelled Pinky in her own voice. Rainbow Dash looked around nervously at Pinky's friends and backed away slowly. <coughs> backed away slowly. Her wings cautiously unfurtily. Uh, yeah, cake, muttered Rainbow Dash. Really, I think I should go now. Pinky, we got a surprise for you out in Sweet Apple Acres. She said as she nodded to move towards the door with a worried smile. An angrily, angry, distressed Pinky was desperately trying to get Rocky back together. Twitch. 
Pinkie <coughs> sorry. Pinkie Pie's face twitched noticeably, contorting briefly in with insanity and a completely blank, blank, far off look, complete with small pupils and huge irises, washed over her face. Rainbow Dash suddenly found herself grabbed from across the room and planted squarely onto the stool where Rocky was originally sitting. She was used to Pinkie Pinkie's randomness, but everything was happening too fast. Pinkie grabbed and squeezed Rainbow Dash's cheeks in a cartoonish fashion as she spoke with a playfully demented tone of voice. Would you like some cake, Rocky? Pinkie asked no one in particular. Why, yes, Pinkie. She answered herself in a rocky voice. I would like some cake. She glared at Rainbow Dash and switched back, switched to her own voice, a rising percent of, of anger. I would like some cake. Rainbow Dash was too confused by Pinkie's randomness to fight back. She never realized Pinkie might have been more off the deep end than she anticipated until... Thwomp. Can you read more, man? Oh, do you want me to? Yes, please. While I get a drink of water. Okay, um, I'll try to make this as clear as I can. Hurry back as soon as you can, because I don't want to do this. All right. Okay. Rainbow Dash was clocked in the knob by a slice of cake with a large piece of rock, rocky inside. The room swam. The room swam. Yeah, the room swam. Her vision blurred, and she fell to the ground. Sorry about that. Um, little Gray, uh, wild-eyed Pegasus pony, f ponies flew by around her head. <laughs> And one last thought went through her mind before her eyes closed, and her cons consciousness slipped away. I've got to get out of here. <sighs> Sorry. It's soon. It's soon! Yelled Pinky, uh, as she shoved her face against Rainbow Dashes. You said it. You said soon, and now it's soon. Rainbow Dashes fluttered. Fluttered open as she regained consciousness. Nate, I know you're back. Yes, I am back. Yes, yeah, so read. I don't feel like reading. <laughs> Sorry. Her vision was still blurry, but the feel of pink that took up most of her vision was quite blatantly pinky. Dash could smell a sugary smell of sweeps wafted through the air, followed by an overwhelming taste of caramel from the candy apple she used to gag her. She blinked, as, as, and as things started to come back into focus, she could make out other things past Pinky. Dash could see a candy-making ingredients in large machines designed for making of confection. confections. She realized it had to be a candy factory somewhere at or near Sugar Cube Corner. Memories of what transpired not long ago suddenly played back in Rainbow Dash's mind. She tried to struggle free, but found her wings and forelegs were tied against her body with colorful party streamers. Even though they were made from simple, thin tissue paper, there were so many layers that it had made quite effective rope. Rainbow Dash's feet dangled helplessly a few feet from the ground. She had been hung from the ceiling with no leverage. Rainbow Dash was trapped for the time being. <laughs> Rainbow Dash tried to call for help, but found that the sticky caramel apple shoved into her mouth quite easily prevented that. The apple was too large for Rainbow Dash to spit out or, or bite into, so for the moment, it wasn't going anywhere. Is this some kind of crazy pr pinky prank? She wondered silently to herself. If it was, it was, it certainly wasn't very funny at all. I'm like literally about to leave. What, you? Yeah, this is so bad. No, stay here. You must hear this. Pinky popped out of the view suddenly before popping back into Rainbow Dash's sight from above. It's time for a party, yelled Pinky as she disappeared and popped back into view at Dash's side. Because you are my very, very, very best friend. And I said soon, and you see you later, party gator, said Pinky as she waved goodbye mockingly. She quickly disappeared and popped in below her dash time, briefly lifting up, lifting her up onto Pinky's head. Rainbow Dash's eyes spun briefly from whipping around, trying to follow Pinky's erratic movements and 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 twitch. 
You lied to me! Growled Pinky as she popped out of view one last time, leaving Rainbow Dash hanging and spinning around slowly. Rainbow Dash's eyes widened in terror as her ears folded back and against her head. She renewed her struggles, but, but it only made her spin around faster. Oh, pony feathers! Rainbow Dash thought to herself, Pinky's really lost it. I hope the others notice I'm not back soon, but will they even be able to find me? As Rainbow Dash spun slowly, she caught a glance at her reflection in the mirror across the room. Rainbow Dash sh shrieked at the sight. Her beautiful rainbow mane and tail were white. Bleached, bone white. Before she look, could look for any more, she was quickly grabbed and spun around backwards towards Pinky, where a familiar scene was set up. It was a creepy party of inanim inanimate objects from before. Except Rainbow Dash was hanging over a stool where a pile of rocks had sat before. Pinky dashed over to the stool where a dust clump and a party hat was sat. Why, darling, said Pinky, badly entertaining Rarity's voice as she shook the stool. Why didn't you just tell anyone your hair color was some, uh, gaudy rainbow dye? Really, darling, rainbow? Rainbow's mo dash is mine raced as she tried to take in everything that is happen that was happening. Unable to decide whether to be furious or terrified, thanks to the fiasco with her mane, she settled on furious and began struggling again. She noticed the stool underneath her. If she can get a hoof on that, she thought she had a chance. She might have a chance. She kept on flailing and wildly and screaming in rage through the apple. Given what she was trying to shout, it was probably a good thing that the apple was there. As Rainbow um, Dash, what? I am slowly growing a great hatred towards this writer. <laughs> Story sucks. I don't know why I'm saying this, but this story is making me sick just <laughs> listening to it. But it just gets so much better. Oh, it gets so much better, and if I leave this call, it, you should know why. Oh my god, Meg. <laughs> like, I know, I know. It's a it's a horror story based off a kid's show. I don't know why it's, re it's really making me sick just listening and reading along. <laughs> As Rainbow Dash struggled, Pinky was behind the flower bag across the table. Her voice did a bad imitation of Fluttershy's. Oh, that pony's despicable. She's just being such a rude party guest. Shink. The flower sack suddenly went limp and slowly drooped on the side of the table. A plastic cake knife was stabbed into its back. A trail of flour pointing out the, of the wound. Rainbow Dash screamed as the apple once again. Her mane and tail was standing on end. Now, now, Fluttershy, said Pinky. Dashy wants, just wants to party. Pinky gestured happily, throwing confetti into the air. Rainbow Dash's eyes grew to the size of dinner plates. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Rainbow Dash, Rainbow Dash thought to herself in a panic. Okay, so cool, Rainbow Dash, you can get out of this still, just... You just gotta play it cool. Bingy wants to party, so maybe if I humor her, she thought. Bingy glanced <laughs> over her at her, and she smiled at the best as she could through an apple, beginning to dance in the air by shaking her hips and waving her hooves around, trying to look happy for Pinky, despite how scared she actually was. Pinky grinned at this. Oh, that's my tune coming on. Like so many other times, when she randomly broke into song and dance, she began dancing to a song that she could only hear. Plastic, cake knife, and hoof. Pinky giggled demensely as she spun around. Switch. She stopped as she suddenly, she stopped just as suddenly as she started, and her expression changed dramatically, now looking extremely angry and annoyed. Her teeth gainished. As she had talked in a strained voice. What's so funny, Dash? growled Pinky. Rainbow Dash squealed through the apple as Pinky yelled at her. She quickly stopped dancing, pulling her legs up. If she had been on, one, on the ground, she would have been curled up in a fetal position. 
and butter. Rainbow dashed helplessly as she frank frantically pointed towards Pinky with one of her hooves. Suddenly, Rainbow Dash found Pinky right at her face with the same furious expression of Nora who's pushed up, pushed up against her own eyeball to eyeball.